Okay, let's try the shoe store. There must be something here. We should make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning. Uh, can I? I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss, Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Hmm, interesting name she's got there. Okay, what do I do here? Do I click on this? Eyewitness? Okay. So what do I do? Okay. Um, let's just try this. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> She's telling the truth. Okay. No, I don't think she's lying. Uh, let's see. Leah Way Voucher. Uh, isn't her name C. Galetta? Let's just click on it. I'm going to try a lie. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? This voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. <gasps> yes. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop <laughs> obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu, Edgar Kalu, he runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. He was just shot. <laughs> Possible murder suspect. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Oh, I've never seen that. I'm not sure. She looks a bit weird there. Let's go with doubt. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. <gasps> yes! Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Oh, yes, I'm on a roll here. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Yay! to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another. 
and then three very quickly close together. Five. Well done, you know maths. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay. So I'm trying to check here. This book, maybe? Not everything here is going to be relevant. So there could be something behind the desk. Anything here? No. No. Nothing here. Oh! Shoes. Okay. I don't think so. No, neither do I, Cole. Can we go here? Oh, no, the door's silver, so no. Anything else? See you, Miss Galetta. Oh, shoes. No. I see there's a bin anywhere. He said he, th says he threw it in a bin. Or was she lying? Well, let's check this bin here. Oh, here it is! FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Oh, and he the gun store again. gun stores a couple blocks from here. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Okay, we need to investigate the jewelry store. Uh, oh yeah, the jewelry store. Yes. Shit. Sorry. Policia. This is the Policia. Must just be down here. Here we are. Hartfield's jewelry store. Let's see if we can find him. Let's see if we can find him. Can I interest you in a new watch? No. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a oh, bitch! Oh, run! Go, Cole, go. That's him. He's a lying bastard. Hey, Thank you, Mr. Janitor. Let's get this fucker. Edgar! Kalu, get back here! How do I shoot? Oh damn it. Oh shit. Why did it say to shoot him then? Why did it say take your gun out to shoot him if you're not supposed to? It's a bit weird. Officer Cole Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? Back here again. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Right, run, Cole. Run. Son of a bitch! 
Get your ass back here, Edgar. I'm not shooting him this time. Hello, get back here. Maybe I could just fire a warning shot. I don't know. Why it's telling me to do that? Maybe I shoot him in the leg or something. I don't know. Oh fuck's sake! Right, we're not doing that. We're not taking the gun out at all. We just have to catch him then. Officer Cole Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Yeah, you lying bastard. Get here now. Son of a bitch! Run, Cole, run! Yeah, I'm, go I'm going, Mr. Janitor. I'm getting him this time. I'm not taking my gun out. That's Kalu, get stupid. back here! Oh, almost run over by the bus. Get your ass back here. Too late, Kalu. Oh, he's down. <laughs> oh. The women don't find you handsome. Oh my God. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. We did it, Ralph. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Hell yeah. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? Okay. You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Okay. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Ooh. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. Yes. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Okay, Irish man. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay. Um, stop it here. I've been recording for a while. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, share with the world. See you later.